How can a small and defenseless animal survive in the desert among large and aggressive predators? It's enough for him to be a professional digger, not to lose vigilance and remember that the most important thing is to be part of the team. The hero of today's video is a fast, dexterous, and very organized predator who is not afraid of the most dangerous snakes, eats poisonous scorpions, and participates in clan wars. It's about meerkats. Let's start. Meerkats are small, predatory animals of the mongoose family that inhabit the desert and open lands of southern Africa. Animals are modest in size. His body length does not exceed 35 centimeters. His weight is about 700 grams. Thick orange-brown fur hides a slender body, and a long tail reaching 25 centimeters allows him to easily balance, including standing on his hind legs. Dark circles protect the eyes from the bright sun by absorbing excess light. Meerkats are very social animals that live in colonies of several families. The total number is usually in the range of 20 to 30 individuals, at the head of which is always the female, which is stronger and larger than the dominant male. All clan members are very organized. They hunt together, help each other, and defend the territory, the area of which usually doesn't exceed three square kilometers. However, quite often, a real war breaks out between neighboring clans. The first stage of which is a battle dance. Animals fluff their fur, raise their tails, and jump as high as possible, thus trying to intimidate the enemy group. Most often, it works. But when the forces are equal, the conflict develops into a fierce battle, which for some may end in death. The African Kalahari Desert is an ideal habitat for meerkats. After all, it's easiest to dig holes in the sand, since the holes play their role of dwelling and shelter. The burrow depth can be up to 2 meters. Also, the dwelling is equipped with many emergency entrances, because the modest size makes the meerkat an attractive target for many local predators. Therefore, safety comes first. Diurnal animals often start their day with sunbathing to restore body temperature after a cool desert night. But first, the clan sets up one or more guards who climb a hill, which can be a bush or tree. They scan not only ground space, but also pay special attention to the approach of feathered predators and raise the alarm in case of danger. The guards are always on the alert, so other clan members can devote their time to finding food. After a while, the replacement comes to a hill so that the guard also had time to rest. Meerkats are very sociable. They constantly talk to each other during feeding. In total, there are more than 30 cry options, each cry with a specific meaning. For example, it can represent family gathering or air raid. All meerkats are predators, the main part of the diet of which consists of insects. All the senses are well developed in animals, and an incredibly sensitive sense of smell helps them in search of food. Prey will not hide even under a thick layer of sand. A meerkat can dig a hole larger than its own size in search of a single larva or beetle, and long curved claws help them in this. Scorpions occupy a special place in the list of favorite meerkat treats. The animals are very well protected from the action of their venom, 
but an encounter with the most dangerous scorpions can end in disaster. So the meerkats rely on their lightning-fast reaction characteristic of the mongoose family. Following sophisticated tactics, they first try to get rid of the sting, thus disabling their opponent. Scorpions, devoid of a formidable weapon, becomes an easy prey for both kids and adults. The whole flock runs for cover with a warning cry, but the guard sees no danger. The alarm turned out to be false. It turns out that the cunning drongo bird learned to copy the voice of a meerkat in order to spread panic and steal someone else's lunch, taking advantage of the moment. The jackal is a rather cunning desert predator, and the meerkat is an ideal prey for him, which is not so easy to catch. The entire clan is already aware of the approaching predator, and they can only hide in branch tunnels to wait out the danger. After a series of pitiful attempts in the hopes of catching the vigilant meerkats, the jackal drops the idea and leaves. But they can't hide in holes from all enemies. And then the meerkats decide to intimidate the enemy with numerical superiority. The animals also have a certain immunity to snake venoms. Cobra is one of the deadliest snakes in the world, but this doesn't scare the defenders, who approach her at a dangerous distance. The tactic works, and the stranger quickly leaves the territory. Sometimes meerkats are forced to leave their burrows and dig shelters at a distance of 1 to 2 kilometers. Forced relocation occurs due to attacks by a neighboring clan or through the fault of parasites. By the way, animals devote a lot of time to personal hygiene, helping each other to cleanse themselves of uninvited guests. Only the main female has the right to breed in the clan. Sometimes she can drive away or even kill competitors. Usually up to seven cubs weighing about 30 grams appear. Moreover, the rest of the females take turns playing the role of nannies. Almost the entire family takes part in the upbringing of the younger generation. Toddlers are taught to dig holes, hide from danger and seek food, with a focus on handling deadly prey such as scorpions, snakes and large spiders. In the wild, meerkats usually live up to six years. This figure is twice as high in captivity. The animal is easily accustomed, and the inhabitants of Africa give birth to them to fight snakes, rodents, and scorpions. But they do not tolerate the cold well, need a special diet, and require increased attention. If you liked the video, do not forget to support it with a like and subscribe to the channel because there is still a lot of interesting things ahead. Spend your time profitably. See you later.